Okay, so we're back with another video on the ancient one. And today I wanted to test her out in PvP, more specifically in timeline battle, because she actually has a reflect built in passively, and it is very similar, not the exact same thing, but very, very similar to Emma Frost. And because of that, after my last two videos on her, you guys have been asking to see how she performs in timeline battle to see if she has any potential there. Now, here's the thing about Ancient One. She doesn't have iframe ignore or a counter attack. So I don't think she's going to be any use to me in timeline battle. Even somebody like me who plays Alliance Conquest, like top 100 is very, very competitive. So I don't think she's going to be of any real value to me there, but you guys are curious. So I am going to take the CTP of energy off of her and give her a CTP of regeneration and test her in Vibranium League and in Challenger to see if she can actually take down some of the meta characters. Now, for the first time in what feels like, I would say, four or five months, Emma Frost is actually banned in Timeline Battle, so I'm going to give my queen a break. I'm going to remove her CTP of regeneration, maybe for the next month, and I'm going to give that to Ancient One right now, and then we're going to test her out and see how Ancient One performs with it, because it's one of my better roles for our regeneration, and I'm not using it this week anyway, so I might as well give it to the Ancient One and see how it works out and it also gives me an opportunity to play with emma frost in pve so if you guys want to see some pve content with emma frost let me know because i don't believe i made very many videos on emma frost when she first came out for pve i kind of just fell in love with her pvp potential and i've been using her religiously every single week and they're finally giving me a break this week so we're gonna try it out let's see what's the hp okay HP is not as high as I would like it to be considering I have, what is that? Mm, you know what? Let me take a look at somebody who also has a regen. My Thanos, what's your HP pool looking like? Okay, so 112 and you have one, two, three, four Odins for HP. So it's not too bad, but that's um 107 with Red She-Hulk. In case you guys are wondering, Red She-Hulk gives you an extra 30% plus damage reduction and ancient one doesn't have any damage reduction natively so this is the team we're going to use molecule man is going to shut off colossus and hella so it should be interesting to see if we can actually win with this team if not i might actually put ebony ma on the team and see how that works out okay so first match we're up against thanos and adam warlock i highly doubt that this is going to work out in our favor but let's see how it goes just let Molecule Man die first, so we give Ancient One a couple seconds for her skills to come off cooldown. And let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. So Ancient One's Reflect <laughs> actually collapsed down. Oh, ouch. Yeah, so we actually clap Thanos the same way how we do with Destroyer or with Emma Frost. But Adam Warlock instantly jumps into an iframe. And since we don't have iframe ignore, it just, um, it's just an L. So she might actually be a pretty useful character to have on your team. I don't know if it's worth sacrificing the spot, but if you're using, I don't know, maybe she's going to die again, right? Oh, this time she's so, mm -hmm. So I wonder if I should replace Red She-Hulk. I'm curious now. Let's see, let me replace Red She-Hulk because it doesn't look like we need any help to kill Thanos. It looks like we need the help to kill Adam Warlock. Let's see how this works. We're gonna let Sentry die and then Thanos is gonna kill himself, I think. Let's see. Yep, Thanos kills himself. Now, ooh, 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 Hella, Hella, Hella is making a difference. Hella is making a difference, but not enough damage. Not enough damage. And Hella has the same problem as Ancient One. No iframe ignore. So she struggles, but she has her unkillable artifact, her undead artifact. So she can get off one kill against Adam, but then she uh, dies. Okay, 
let's keep this team the thing is with this team we don't have a cdb of inside so we are losing a little bit of damage but you know but let's see by the way this week i'm in challenger but i don't have any challenger buffs yet so i'm doing all my pvp um showcases before we do that um i don't want to fight the same team again it's kind of boring uh everybody's gonna use this team this week eh? wow ah boy now, this is what happens when you ban emma for us eh? everybody just run thanos and and uh adam warlock yikes see at least in challenger they banned um both emma and adam together but um down here in vibranium they decided to leave one of these annoying characters in the mix but listen if you wanted to use ancient one in timeline see she doesn't have penetration natively either yeah that's the thing boys i don't think she's gonna work out for you in pvp because she's missing some key tools for pvp like it's cool that she's able to kill thanos like it's really really cool but we already had that with emma frost and emma frost can penetrate everything and kill adam warlocks and other characters as well so yeah i, I don't oh, oh, oh accidentally um hit with um sentry there so it looks like the only character that we have like a 100 percent success rate is against thanos and make no mistake about it thanos is one of the very few characters that can actually tank adam warlock and clap his ass same goes for spider-man too right he can clap up those guys too so it's very interesting that we're getting like even more characters that kind of abuse um thanos is one weakness which is reflect damage yeah so adam warlock is just gonna eat us every single time is there any other teams down here in uh vibranium this week if not we are going to move up to uh challenger i just want to see what vibranium has this week i'm kind of happy i'm not down here okay let's see this kind of happy i'm not down here this week to be honest let's just see how this goes I accidentally went to Challenger. By the way, don't vote for me. Or do vote for me. I don't care, but I'm not pushing, so uh, don't vote for me. I'm just going to auto my fights, so I drop out of uh, Challenger. So don't waste your uh, your vote on me. I just won too many games, and then I ended up in Challenger. <laughs> the life of a whale. Yo, can we actually take out Hela? Yo, are we actually going to take out... No way. Okay. I'm about to say, <laughs> I'm about to say, we actually about to take out. If she didn't have her artifact, we would have taken her out. But uh, yeah, let's let's move up the challenger and see what the big boys are running. Can Ancient One get a W, boys? By the way, this is the ban list for challenger this week. Doom, Emma, Adam, and Thanos all banned. Whoever decided that this was gonna be the ban list this week, shout out to you because this is going to make it so that the whales up here. In Challenger, I actually have to think outside the box, and I kind of love it. I'm not even going to lie. Anyways, let's see what these boys are running. Okay, so it's kind of weird. Even though these guys are banned, I guess the teams that they were using from last week is still preset because they haven't done any games yet. So um, let's see how this goes. I'm pretty sure that Ancient One is... Wow, this man is so weak. Wow. Bruh. Really? Really? All right, I'm gonna have to tag Ancient One in. Yo, it's, yo, what was that? I don't know if Ancient One was the one that killed or not. Oh wait, Ancient One's gonna kill herself to Emma's reflex. Yikes. <laughs> well, well, that was short-lived. Okay, so Carl is running Spider-Man and Electro. Okay, boys, let's see how this goes. Um, oops, I I accidentally killed this Sentry. Yikes. <laughs> Okay, let me actually just let him kill me. I want to see how Ancient One does. What's on this guy? Okay. This is... A brilliant regen. Okay. Can we kill his Spider-Man? Nope. Okay. Well, what did you expect? Come on. It looks like I'm not going to be able to test... Ancient one very much because there's not very many um combat characters or any combat characters really in the meta right now. Gilgamesh got pushed out and so did Luke Cage. And since this week they banned Emma and Adam up here, everyone is just by default gonna be running speed teams. 
and that's the direct counter to ancient one so i don't know if we're going to be able to get any good matches but it's it's cool i guess that we um oof that's nice nice damage there it's cool that um she can counter hold on she can counter thanos does that mean thanos moves down in the meta i don't know Ooh, oh oh my gosh bro yo come on ancient one heal heal kill this girl never mind what are you talking about ancient one yo this is turning into a hella showcase fam. i'm like <laughs> yo is hella just gonna drop off the whole team okay so let's see how we do against valor can we actually wipe his team with ancient one specifically with ancient one i'm also oh wait wait a second i just realized since he has molecule man my um <laughs> my what you would call it my hella has been turned off so she not going to do anything for us in terms of um damage mitigation or damage increase but the heal is kind of nice and let's see if we kill sentry we have damage immunity and invincibility so we're doing okay yo pop the tier three. Oh, i wish the tier three lingered Ah, woo! That's kind of nice. That's juice. That was juice. That was actually kind of kind of nice. Let, let, let me run that back one more time. Just just one more time. When Sentry dies, I'll use that window to um, bring out Ancient One. Simply because if I hit the auto, Sentry's gonna immediately start attacking, and I don't want him to do any damage to um, Molecule Man, because Molecule Man is kind of flimsy. Even though this guy has an authority on him, which is one of the better CTPs for him. Okay, Molecule Man dead. That's how you know a Molecule Man is mid, bro. What? Even when, <laughs> yo, even when a character like H1 is, yo, H1 already got the tier three. Wow. The invisibility is kind of nice, though. I ain't gonna lie. The thing is, Sentry isn't really falling off. So seeing him get handled by Ancient One like this, kind of, kind of nice. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. All right. All right. All right, we couldn't kill. We couldn't kill. Eat, <laughs> yo, we eating, boys. Yeah, so Ancient One has some value. I ain't gonna lie, value, value. The reflect is nice, and he, I keep, I keep saying he, it's a she because they changed the gender. Man, listen, if I ever say he when referring to Ancient One, just know this is the Ancient One that I like grew up knowing about right so this recent mcu changed to now being a female still the brain is programmed from like 30 years of well i guess it's been like 25 whatever like 25 years of ancient one just being a male to me and then all of a sudden now ancient one's a female you know it, it takes some getting used to but the point is ancient one for pvp um i would say the best you could hope for is some kills on sentry and that insta kill on thanos is kind of nice for ac I would say I could see a spot on my team, you know, I could see a, a spot on my team, especially if I'm going up against a Thanos. I like the fact that she has the healing bubble, so that's going to apply to all of your allies. So yeah, maybe I could squeeze her in, but long term, definitely is going to be a CTP of inside character. What I will say though, if we do get Reforge for inside at some point, it would be nice if inside offered invincibility or immunity to guard break or something along those lines for the reforge stat because then ancient one would actually be a dope support but also might have some pvp value for stuff like ac i'm gonna leave it there leave me your thoughts in the comments i know it's not the most entertaining pvp video she's not super meta or anything but she does have some things in her kit that makes her viable like legitimately viable like she can kill thanos and thanos is at the top of the game right now with adam warlock and emma frost arguably the three best pvp characters so her being able to kill one of them is actually quite nice and i would say top five includes dr doom and sentry and you saw there for yourself she's wiping out sentry so take from it what you will i'll catch you in the next one peace